Hey everyone, I'm playing my main man, Bacon Buddy, again. Oh, Carol Khan this time. He doesn't want another French. This guy's a high high rated blitz player always. I hate this stupid line. I just feel like this line is annoying for white. I hate all my white openings. I should just play C4 every game. Um, knight, what's bishop takes? I'm trying to remember the theory. What's he doing here? He's, he hasn't played Carol Khan usually, so he's confused. Did I mess something up? I don't think so. I just don't know what to do. Knight b5? Knight f3? Hmm. I'm sure it's good for me, I just don't know why. Knight b5. Alright, I'll just develop my pieces. So I have a, I'm going to have a big edge in development, is the idea. But he's going to be up a pawn. And the question is, who's is it worth it? Probably it is. Like, like, knight takes, queen takes, e6. Oh, wow. Uh, some kind of queen, b3, maybe? Or... Queen e2, maybe. That was an interesting move on in his part. I, I don't know. I, I may not have the right enough... Might not have enough compensation here. Rook d1. Because I don't really see how to proceed. Alright, I'm going to play rook d1 before I do anything. And maybe I'll take on f6. At least his king is always weak. Or maybe castle is bishop e7 and then. Ah, whatever. So now what is happening? When in doubt, I think put a piece in the middle, or like a rook in the middle. That's what I like to do. And if he castles, hey, at least his king is a little shaky. That's a risky move. And he wants to castle queen side. Can take and then take on e6. Am I gonna calculate it or just do it? Oh, I lose too many. Um. Yeah, what the hell? I only live once. I probably should calculated this. <laughs> Instead of just doing it without thinking enough, but you know, there's people watching, big crowd, must entertain the fans. It's very important. So, if King e8, knight d5, I think, just increase the pressure. And it's not so easy for him. If king c7, knight d5, king d8, Knight d5 again, probably. Rook d1. I like increasing pressure with no threats. I feel like those type of moves are hard to deal with. b4 could also be annoying in some lines. I'm down a whole rook, by the way. But I do, I mean, I think my chances are decent. I'm threatening to take his bishop. I have moves like knight d, oh no, knight d4, I lose my rook. But like b4 is interesting, always. Just kind of like distracting his pieces. Rook e8, knight f6 looks decent.
Jump on time. I feel like a hero this game. Sacrificing a rook for the initiative. He doesn't know what to do, man. He can always go queen takes rook and, you know, two rooks for the queen, but then he's still being attacked. So that's the problem that he's facing. Rook e8 is an interesting move. I actually think b4 is the right... Oh, wow! No way. Alright, I'm going to just... He really felt the pressure. Um, I'm going to take with the knight. I'm going to probably go... You know, he's paralyzed, sort of, so... Like, what's his plan here? He can't move the bishop, because I take enough six. So I figure when he's paralyzed, why not just keep him... Keep him stuck. Alright, now I'll take... Oh, don't... I don't know. I think that's checkmate. Yeah. That was kind of cool. I realized that uh, when the rook goes to c6, uh, they get the little epilots mate. That game... I'm proud of that game. For a blitz game, I think I I, I did some good things. Um, let's real quickly analyze it. Uh, but I, I really think my, my rook sacrifice was... At least in a blitz game, very, very interesting. Because he's he's making what's a haha f f s. I wonder what that means. No idea. Maybe he meant ggs. Because uh, that would make sense, but mistyped it. But anyway, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, what I you know I need to play a few games to get like warmed up. Sometimes I hadn't played in a while. Uh, sorry, somebody's saying I'm getting better as the streams were warmed up. Um, somebody's saying watch the engine break my heart. Half pawn will travel. I don't know that the sacrifice is actually sound, but for a blitz game, I thought it was interesting. I can't remember what to do here, by the way. Like I was pretty sure they don't take with a knight. Let me see why. Knight G to E2? Really? Wow. I'm supposed to just take. And then some kind of Knight B5 and game over. You know, it's just a psychological thing that you shouldn't um, trade pieces when you're ahead. It's hard to break out of that. Um, I noticed that Houdini often overvalues undervalues pawns in, in positions like this. but Alright, so I took... It still thinks I'm slightly better, even though I'm down a pawn, which is interesting. Rookie one, I just didn't know what to do. And now... Let's see. King takes... Oh! The engine says white is better! Boom! It's complicated, though. Oh, and it doesn't like this move. Oh my god, I'm so smart. King C7? I don't even understand. I guess he's going to go to B8 and sack some material back. Loves this move. Yeah, now he just gave up. The pressure was too much. And this move is beautiful. Not taking an F6. Enticing the uh, Rook C8. And boom! The engine didn't break my heart. You see? Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, on YouTube. I'm going to probably play another game or two on Twitch. Uh, see you YouTubers later.